G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the east side of the map, playing as the Chinese in the color blue, representing Team Liquid, it is the Muslim. On the opposite side of the map, in the color red, playing as the English, it is running. And he is going for something a little bit interesting right now, and I don't know exactly what that is. Is he going for a forward outpost? What have we got going on? Villagers just trying their best to evade the scout. All of a sudden going to be coming forward, just pushing for... What is going on right now? I have never seen something like this before. Murdering his sheep as well. Do you see, guys see that? He's all of a sudden... This is this is literally... We, we have a, a, a villager pool at 50 seconds in the game. Literally back home. This is everything that he has got. He has got three villagers on sheep, one villager on the wood line. What is he doing right now? Is he looking to steal away the resources from his opponent? No way. No way this is actually happening right now. You are not serious. The scout's coming in. You can see they're actually looking to try and fight. Now, these villagers, they haven't actually killed a sheep, I don't think. So they're not going to have that extra little bonus damage. What is this? This is <laughs> the villager rush. It's happening. It's an actual villager rush. Running is doing a villager rush right now. Look at this. The villagers. We are at a minute into this game and an outpost comes down. What a cheese is coming out right now. Right on top of the mill, on top of the berries, on top of all of the units, on top of the, the, the sheep. And now look at all the villagers that get pulled in. Oh my God, so much damage coming out. The villager rush is real right now. The Muslim going to be pushing up and trying his best to fight. You can see a third scout going to be coming out. He is really looking to cause a lot of havoc here, and he is subsequently pulling his own villagers to try and take this out. The outpost gets cancelled. The Muslim knows that he needs to try and take out or prevent this from coming down, and now the scout's going to be moving out towards these villagers, looking to harass it. What the hell is this game? This is when when buffing the, the English goes too far. You know, they've got so much wood, they're confident to actually do this, but villager might be going down if it's not careful. Indeed, it does go down. We witness it dead at the base of the tree. He's going to be buried there with some of the weeds on the ground. At least I think that's weeds. It looks like overgrown grass potentially. And now these villagers continuing to fight, continuing to push back. And they're going to be struggling up against the, the three scouts coming out from De Muslim. He has done incredibly well. And that is our villager rush, ladies and gentlemen. Unsuccessful, but at the same time, interesting, interesting. Uh, the question is, the question is, despite having, you know, what looked to be a, a very interesting opening, Running has failed right now. It is, he has failed incredibly. This, he's basically just giving these villagers up. Two villagers in the middle. That's the third villager right there that's going to be going down. You can see he's trying to fight for it. Is there any way that Running actually wins this game? I'll tell you what. If Running wins this game, I'm going to eat my shoe. And look, it's it's a it's a shoe made from chocolate because I've I've said that before. I'm going to eat my shoe, and uh, and I, I I've had to come good on it. And it wasn't the most delicious shoe. But I mean, at this point in time, running has just given himself a a two villager disadvantage. He's deleted two villagers. Make it three. Oh my lord, he's doing it again. Running, did you not learn your lesson the first time, mate? What is going on? He is really committing to this. He's got three villagers under the town center, two villagers chopping wood. Run. <laughs> This is the equivalent to running it down mid right now. He is playing League of Legends. He's running it down mid, and that's his name as well. What an absolute chat. Oh, my God. The Muslim can't even see the outpost, dude. Oh, this is what <laughs> The second outpost coming up. I can't believe I can't control myself. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> and now the villagers. He's got so many villagers. He's, he's got a two-shot. Look at the, the bows. The bow. He takes out the villagers. He's down for round number two. This is a ludicrous game. We're four minutes into this game, and he's evened up the villager loss. All of a sudden, the Muslim going to be heading back to the pavilion. You can see him walking towards the deer. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> I can't believe this. How is running doing this? How is this a viable strategy? <laughs> the mill comes down. Your base? No, mate. This is my base. I don't know. I don't know who told you that this was your base. This is my base. And these are my berries. It's my sheep. You've got the town center here. It's still within like the in the range, but you can see the the town center can't even see the villagers gathering up the berry bush. You can see the berry bush and it, it's being, you know, drained of of berries, but at the same time <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It, look, I got to be honest with you guys. This is 
This is an absolutely wild opening, but I still feel like the Muslims just got the upper hand because honestly, at this point, you know, there's so many wasted villager seconds coming out from running. Whereas the Muslim, he's just gone, okay, I'm just going to reallocate my villas back here. You know, I'm playing it seriously. I've got enough food to get up. But remember, you know, th think about it from the perspective of running. What has he denied? He has denied a Barbican that, he, that goes down safe on these resources. Think about it. On this map, right? We have got one of the best maps for China. How does China play this? Well, they wall this off. Okay, that's a 40 wood wall. They stick a Barbican on this hill. And now what do you do? You can't break them. They stick a wall behind here. Great. You know, you throw an outpost up. It's not going to do anything. And so how does running do it? He, he plays one of the smartest moves I've ever seen. He villager rushes. The villager rush is actually here. It's actually happening. And he somehow manages to make it work, make it stick. And behind this now, we see... what What is the villager count right now? Let's do a quick villager check. 16 villagers for running. 17 villagers for Demuslim. So it, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, mate, I might, I might die but I'm going to take you down with me. And it's very much the case. And now four scouts coming out for running. You can see he is doing his best to really run it down mid, but somehow turn it. It's, it's kind of like that. I don't know if you guys follow League of Legends, but if you've watched recently, there's this new Scion strategy that's been taken over because th there's a player by the name of Baus and he just ints every game and he just wins because Scion does so much damage to tower to, to towers. I feel like it's that same sort of thing. You know, you, you've done damage to yourself, but at the same time, you've done so much damage to your opponent. What a ludicrous series i can't believe that we are actually getting to witness this live right now and now the muslim just he is going to be struggling he's lost his berries and now he, he's going to be in dire need of food and you can see that there's one two three sheep that are going to be out of reach actually i think there might be a fourth sheep there is indeed a fourth sheep behind that mill uh, can i just give you guys a tip don't kill sheep behind your mill because the hitbox on that thing is bigger than bigger than like the moon it is massive and you'll never be able to click on that mill ever again. The only way you can click on it, you have to move the mill to your bottom of the bottom of your screen and then click on the center of the mill because that right there, it's this part down towards the south. You can see Scout's just going to be looking at getting to the battle. He's already gathered up enough enough gold to get up to the next stage. But yeah, that, that is the only way. If you've got a sheep that is behind your mill, I don't know about you guys. Maybe it might just be me with the hitboxes, but like if your mill is in on this angle, like that right there, that is the sheep, that sheep. And then this over here, like you can see, right? Like it, it is such a tiny little window that you've got to click on because that is, that's the back right there of on that other sheep. And now another outpost going to be coming down. Imperial official, Imperial official. What are you doing, Imperial official? You're going to collect gold on the other side of the map right now imperial official just heading out in a classic imperial official move it's got one health left it goes down get wrecked imperial official you, i hate you i hate you so much imperial official you're always going out to do some stupid shit on the map you're always getting yourself killed you deserve what was coming to you mate you <laughs> you absolutely deserve that you are so damn annoying always finding the worst position for yourself that's what you get you're just like that damn sheep carcass. I should be able to select you and your hitbox should be the size of Jupiter. <laughs> it should be. You select the Imperial official hitbox. <laughs> oh my God, I'm losing it. I swear. You'd, you'd think after a game like this or like a cast like this that there's no way Drongo is not high. Like he's just got to be high on something. But I can tell you guys, I have not touched a drug in my life. I am 100% high on life, baby. That is it. That is all we've got going for us at this point in time. Uh, so yeah, no gear for us but um <laughs> oh man it's a fun game isn't it this is a very fun <laughs> game running gonna be running him all of it that's gotta be a council hall right yeah okay <laughs> he, he's crazy but he's not stupid or <laughs> the council hall gonna be coming out we are this is ever, this is wild i this is i'll be honest with you guys i'm feeling like this is one of the best casts that we've done we, we did that cast before of of uh, talisman 2208 i feel like this is getting on that level with just the level of creativity of these players and just the absolute stupidity coming out from me like that stupid imperial official <laughs> you know i need to download that mod there's a mod where you can get like persistent bodies and I, w I want persistent bodies for imperial officials so i can see all my stupid imperial officials that have gone and died like <laughs> your enemy the enemy army is like pushing in and you've got a mill that's being sieged down and there's an imperial official <laughs> that's moving out to the mill to collect the three tax <laughs> in the mill and th the best part is the imperial official is sitting at 39 out of 40 he could have just <laughs> <laughs> oh god i love china dude they're such a dumb sieve but now we see running going once again 
Going to be up towards this northern position, dropping down another outpost. It's going to be hard to get behind, but you can see he is running around towards the other side. Going to be looking to open up line of sight on this position, and you can see villagers going to be moving around a little bit. He's going to be trying to sneak this scout through. Let's see if he's able to do it. He spots out this, the, the Barbican, and he knows it's dangerous. He should be able to run this Barbican or pass this Barbican if the Muslim isn't paying attention. And that's going to be the key thing. And speaking of not paying attention, this Imperial official just decided to kill itself as well. 13 health for this bad boy. You know, you know. I guarantee you was heading out to this mill. He, like, he went to pick up four tacks or six tacks from here. I guarantee you, dude. I guarantee you. And we can see now he's going to be supervising this lumber camp towards the back. And I think running has decided that there's no point in running the gauntlet along there. It's almost guaranteed death. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like line of sight going to be prevented from coming in from here. He might actually be able to stick an outpost here and then gain line of sight towards that if there's an overchop uh, from that angle. But now, the Muslim finding a way to get up to that castle age. So despite having such few resources in his base, somehow manages to scrounge together the resources to get up to that castle age. A quick villager check reveals that there's 31 villagers for the Muslim at this point in time compared to the 29 for running. And running, definitely going all out right now, doing a very big lame, I would feel. And it's rare that I use that term, lame, uh, but it, 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 you can't help but feel, you know, when, when there's four outposts and a villager rush on your base, you, you got to start throwing out the lame word. But the, the scout looks like it has made its way around. I think he ducked in from this side. You can see the scout on the backside still over there. And now he's got line of sight in, in towards this position and the outpost going to be able to fire you down. It's firing on the house at the moment. And look, I, I agree that's a worthy cause, but I can't help but feel like the these villagers might be a little bit more worthy. We'll see exactly how he goes about it. You can see the scout going to be calling out just out of range. And do, do, does he dare chop through? Like, you, one of the things you could do in this position, chop through to here and then look to try and, um, and, and look to actually... Wait, why doesn't he just chop around the wall? Oh, my God. Why didn't I think of that? Just chop chop through the wall. Just do, do one of those annoying little chops. For one tree down, two trees down. Bam, you're through. Maybe running just not focused enough now on, on that. He's, he's working behind the scenes. And you can see, speaking of behind the scenes, it looks like the King's Palace is going to be going down. He's sitting on 32 villagers at the moment. Compare that over to the Muslim. He's on 33. So village accounts very even. Uh, the Muslim still not yet to hit that Song Dynasty. He is really struggling right now. Food is going to be a major issue for him. And we can see over towards the east of the map, he is looking to expand that wall out. He's trying his best to control or, or gain a little bit of an improvement in the territory. And you can see running was coming around. He was trying. I think he's going to be dropping or looking to drop a um looking to drop a uh, an outpost but it looks like a trebuchet going to be coming out running going to be slowly but steadily losing his position here the trebuchet going to be able to clear out this uh this position and he's going to be in a great spot after this because you know he, he, he's almost like a turtle who was breaking out of his shell and now you know now he's ready now he's good to go Looks like another villager did go down for the Muslim. He has lost a lot of villagers today. Actually, he hasn't lost a lot. It's only been two villagers. So things aren't terrible for him. Uh, but but uh, running, on the other hand, he has lost a lot. And now Trebuchet going to finish off this outpost. You can see it is burning down. I think two more outposts remain. The first one down towards this wood line. Second one over on the berries. And that's going to open up a whole bunch more food for him. He's going to be really happy. But I tell you what, I, there's, a, there's something that scares me greatly about uploading this onto YouTube because that's where it's going to be going. Obviously, this is game number two in this series. Are we going to start seeing villager rushes coming out from all of you guys that are watching this? Is this is this where the English meta is going? Are we going to see the, the new Mongols coming in right now? Literally four villagers getting pulled? Because remember, those villagers, they do a lot of damage as well. You could, To be fair, you could actually pull five villagers and then you could two-shot a knight. Uh, two-shot a knight. God, could you imagine that? Pull five villagers. You could two-shot a villager. That would be crazy. The only city you wouldn't want to do that against is Delhi because they get free textiles. Uh, and I'm pretty confident. Is textiles an upgrade that is... I think it might be a, a Feudal Age tech. I'm not sure. It could be Dark Age. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but behind this, we can see that we have got Running, who is going for a double stable, and that's where the Knights came from. It was a, a, a thought planted in my head early with this, but he's on the double town center, so Demuslim going to be looking to match that. Demuslim on the other side. He has yet to scout that out, but he's just going to be going blind spears because he suspects there might be a little bit of, uh, of cavalry shenanigans coming out. And now going to be turning his attention towards that last outpost, Oh, you hate to see it. The rock goes wide. The rock goes wide. The umpire is going to call it out. And indeed, the, uh, the it, it remains uh, one or, or 15 love at the <laughs> at this point in time uh, for... Oh, never mind. It is it is now 30 love uh, for uh, 
for the Muslim, he, he wins that small victory there. But he's managed to secure this up. He's going to see his first knight. And with that, he's going to see breathe a sigh of relief that he's got Spearman coming out. Keep in mind, he does have uh, hardened Spearman. And that knight going to be looking to come in onto the wood line. Second Spearman going to be coming out as well. Looking to do some damage. He's trying his best to cut this off. But Villager... Oh, no. Don't. No, don't. No, don't. Don't, don't go for the Imperial Official. You can see the Muslim also pulling the Imperial Official back. He knows how vulnerable that Imperial Official is. But Villager going to be going down on the backside. He's going to be careful here to try and keep this knight alive. It's going to be tough for him. There's a Barbican here that's going to be able to focus this down. And indeed, Barbican going to be turning his attention towards that knight. It looks like it's going to be able to survive one more shot. One more shot. Should be able to take it out. Will the Barbican get it off? I think he might. Indeed, he does. And the knight does go down. That knight was looking to head around towards his position. The villagers would have met it with, with great uh, resolve. And what have we got here? You naughty little berry bush. What are you doing up on that hill? You're a berry bush. You're not a mountain goat. You're not meant to be on hills. How did you even get up there? What is that? Could you imagine if like, if, if this was closed off and the villagers would just be bugged out and be like, oh yeah, the villagers are on food, bro. Don't worry. Meanwhile, they're just standing there trying to get to the berry bush. Trebuchet missing another shot there. Wasn't on a, a, a standing out, uh, a standing target, rather a moving target in that scenario uh, and is going to be missing the knight but a lot of knights beginning to come out some also looks like we've got some caped heroes you know they say not all heroes wear capes but it definitely turns out all heroes uh, all, all people who wear capes are heroes and that is indeed the case here for the scouts more outposts going to be coming up and demuzel i'm starting to worry for him at this point honestly running is looking very very good 42 villages for demuzel he's got that song dynasty just been enabled now so could look to go into granaries if he feels necessary he's got a nice little spot for granaries to come down here uh, and he is a he is a granary enjoyer a granary enthusiast uh, so that is always going to be an option for him and now we see that uh, that that keep that keep that uh, that tower on the hill and such a difficult spot here for the muslim because he, he finds himself in this little valley or in this little uh, yeah i guess you'd probably say a valley you can see, see the way that the the lips of the hills come up here and now those longbows are going to be teeing off to the towards the villagers and just remember just remember the muslim those are runnings those are runnings berries mate you can't just come in here taking a man's berries not like that girlfriend not like that. The, he fought for these. You can see the outpost foundations that went down. I think there's a mill was that was there, and then a, a, a uh, an outpost was rebuilt in its place. But uh, <laughs> longbow going down to the most effective siege weapon in the game. That is correct. The mangonel no longer the most effective siege weapon. It is now going to be the trebuchet, and you can see that trebuchet going to be unpacking. Happy that he's, he's secured this this kill. A poor little longbowman. He looks very crushed, uh, to say <laughs> to say the least. He looks crushed to be dead, and indeed he is quite crushed. Uh, but behind this, though, we can see that the Muslim going to be struggling with regard to food. You can see he's going to be thinking about a transition over to farms, dropping down the villages now. That's going to be his first, second village of the game. I take that back. Second village of the game coming out now, and uh, probably going to need a, at least a nest of bees to try and deal with this. The nest of bees is going to be very effective up against the longbows and the spears. Oh, never mind. There's the nest of bees. It's already come out. So now what do we see as a response from running? I think for me in this position, he's going to go for a siege workshop. But I was going to say, I'd love to see a keep come out. And then using that as as his siege workshop. But remember, obviously, your enemy's already got a trebuchet out. So putting a keep on on the board when your enemy's already got a trebuchet out is kind of like if you spot if you scout your enemy making an archery range and then you're like oh i should make spearmen like no that is, that is just not the correct thing to do uh because it, you know you're not going to be able to buy yourself any time with that and your enemy's already going to have the effective counter to what you've got you're investing a lot of resources so it does make sense for him in this scenario to just be going for the siege workshop and now we see relics beginning to get picked up as well running going to be doing his best to come back towards his monastery one of the relics already picked up you can see him rallying out towards this position he's already taken the first one second one going to be coming in now and that trebuchet going to continue doing work in this position where is he firing at is he firing at the berry bushes? Has he taken such issue with the berries this game that he's just decided he's going to take them out? No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Spots that uh, that scout out. He might be looking to go for it. But uh, Trebuchet just deciding to start focusing at a more... A more uplifting... Uh, a more uplifting enemy. It doesn't like stone bridges it seems uh third village gonna be coming down and the second town center also gonna get dropped down here for the muslim the question is where do the farms go because a lot of players will be looking to just put the farms around the town center and that's definitely a, a smart move if you're looking to save space especially on a map like this but ideally what you'd love to do is try to just put down all those granaries and and get those farms down but now it looks like the first farm's gonna be coming around the main town center as well as the secondary town center here for the muslim so not gonna be looking to do a granary in the corner something like that it could definitely work out for him Springlord's going to be able to take out that nest of bees. Nest of bees does go down. And with that, the threat to the longbowman is no longer existent, with the exception of that that trebuchet, of course. Don't, you know, 
let's not forget Larry, our longbowman. He did go down. Uh, a very valiant effort. He, he put up, but unfortunately, the stone, the boulder was too strong. The boulder, you know, 300 pounds. Is it 300 pounds or 300 kilos? I'm trying to remember the meme. Look at the fucking Imperial official, dude. 13 health. It's like, yeah, I've, I've, I'm carrying some tax on me. I'm just going to go grab the 35 that's out here. You know the best part? Even if... Look at these these suicidal Imperial officials coming out with 28 tacks in the kitty already. You can see they want it. They want it. Just delete the mining camp at this point, to Muslim. Don't dare let your Imperial officials die for some <laughs> for some terrible mining camp. Oh gosh. You you know he wants it. You know he wants it. He, he's keeping it alive. He's like, I'm I'm gonna get that tax. Don't you worry, Drongo. I will get that tax. Oh, geez, it's such a tough spot, isn't it? He is really put in the corner right now. Let's take a look at how, how running is doing on the other side of this because he is looking quite strong. We've seen the villager rush come out and he somehow managed to capitalize it at this point in time. Now going to be looking to transition into a mill economy behind this. He's already got two mills fully farmed up at this point. Only 12 villagers on food. He's going to be slowly but steadily making more farms. He's taking full map control. Sacred side down towards the south. Sacred side up towards the north. And a very strong position in the middle here. We see a blacksmith, the classic forward blacksmith coming down at 20 minutes you know where else would you be putting it no honestly like you guys hear me memeing but it makes a lot of sense on this map you don't have a lot of space in your base it is very limited with regard to the space that you've got so it kind of makes sense to just be putting your mill out in stupid locations like this why not why not it works it works but we'll take a look over at Dumbledore's space and see how he's doing. He's continuing to buff up the resources on the back here. Farm's going to be dropping off directly to the town center. So just for anybody wondering at home, keep in mind that when you are dropping off to a town center, you don't actually accumulate tax. So you see how these villagers right now, they're dropping off to a lumber camp. These guys are going to drop off tax every time they do it. In fact, they drop off two tax every time that they do it because they're in the the uh, influence of an imperial academy. But that's not going to be the case for the town center. The town center does not give you any tax. It doesn't, or your villagers do not reap or do not deliver with any tax. But now, Springled War, going to begin out. Villagers coming in. Oh, they almost made it towards that second Springled. Unfortunately, going to get taken out. He's trying his best. Now going to be able to repair up these Springleds and actually take a pretty decent engagement here. Demuslim going to be happy with that. And then now running falls back, realizing that he can't win that fight. And Springwood's going to continue moving forward. Not a lot of line of sight right here. Demuslim de definitely playing up here. He's trying his best to establish a position. But with that keep, it signifies the beginning of a new era. And that is trench warfare because the Muslim is in a bit of a trench at the moment. And he's now added in his springles. He's got the trebuchet behind ready to try and take out enemy infrastructure. But with that, we now see a trench beginning to build on top of the hill for running. Going for that classic English castle on the hill. You know, Ed Sheeran sung songs about it. So it, it, it's got to be a real threat. And now we see a wolf actually taking down a monk. The, uh, this is the arch enemy of the monk. It is it is the wolf. It is the body infantry. Always going to be coming up victorious. You can't walla lol a wolf. That is there. There's a, there's a song written about that as well by Ed Sheeran. Uh, that is a great one. Actually, how would that song go? Ding 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 ding. ding. You can walla lol a wolf, but you can walla lol my heart. I, I'm pretty confident that's how the song goes. That's got to. That, that is how the song goes. You can't walla lol a wolf, but you can walla lol my heart. Let's see it, Ed. You can do it. I believe. But now running, going to be suffering a little bit. You can see double trebuchet going to be coming off for both of these players now. And you can see the, the um, we've got a bit of a crawl coming through here from Demuslim. He is trying to push up, but you just feel terrible when you're, you're, you're creeping by two tiles. You know, like, quite literally there. You could not fit a barracks between that. That is two tiles. And now Springwood's coming up for a little bit of a Springwood kiss. Going to be focusing down. I think they just took out a, 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 a longbow, at least trying to do some damage there. Not going to have a whole lot of luck. And you can see the Springwoods have to come up over to get line of sight. And they they're trying because they, they don't have an arcing shot. So as a result, when you tell them to attack the you know the, these units over here, they have to get up on top of the hill. And as a result, it makes it so much more difficult for them to, get, to engage. And you can see he's struggling here because he wants to be able to take out this trebuchet, but he can't. His effective range goes down. The range here is 10 tiles, but 10 tiles is probably right here. And now on top of the hill, the Springlord's going to be teeing off down towards the units below them. We can see the veteran spearmen going to be holding in between that gap. Kind of looks like right now, you know, hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Uh, but uh, villagers are going to be repairing up that keep. Going to be trying to keep it alive while that trebuchet's... Uh, trebuchet, rather. Uh, that is two trebuchet. What, what is the plural of trebuchet? Is it just trebuchets? Is it trebuchet? He's got two trebuchet. <laughs> it's two trebuchet. He's got two trebuchet over on that western flank looking to try and take down this keep. 
it is going to be a struggle for him because he can barely get up here. And this is the problem. By putting your castle down here, if you put your castle up here on this hill, then you, you're suddenly able to get your Springles up. And now Springles are going to be making their way up towards this line. You can see him trying to draw in the aggro for these units and try and get in a couple of sneaky shots. Not going to be successful. He is struggling. And now the spear is going to be moving up. I think he's going to be able to take this. You can see the Springles are going to be able to open up on these knights. And at the same time, I, I'm not sure why he's not moving up. I think he, he does have the ability to take this. He's going to be losing this keep otherwise because the villagers here are not going to be able to keep up with the rate of healing. And you can see that keep going to be going down probably in that shot. And indeed it does. Now those Nestor Bees are going to be moving up. I can't help but feel he's left it to too little too late. Demusum really suffering right now. He's really struggling, trying to dig himself out of this hole. And finally he gets up on top of this hill. He has been fighting all game with this hill. And just a really, really bad spawn, honestly, that comes out for him. Not, not bad spawn, but just a, a, a great use of the spawn by running. And the, the great thing is that running knew what was up before this game even started. You see him. He, he moved out four villages at the beginning of this game. He did not wait a second. He was straight into it. And now at the same time, a Springlord moving forward for, for a little bit of a kiss. It wants to come in against that keep. And he's moved it a little bit too far. You can't help but feel bad for the guy. And now at the same time, we'll take a look over at running's base and see what is going on. He's just got the, the triple siege workshop here working overtime. That villager somehow uh, made its way back to the wood line and brought the wolf with it. Eventually, that wolf did go down. Villagers began turning their attention towards it. We see upgrades beginning to come through. It looks like it's going to be Bloomery uh, coming through in this position. But it looks like the keep does go down for the Muslim. He has made his way up onto that ledge. You can see he's tried his best. And honestly, that makes a lot of sense if he, if he comes in from this angle because then at least he's got the high ground. Because when it comes to, you know, Age of Empires 4, it's a lot like Star Wars. He who has the high ground is going to be the victor. And, you know, in this scenario, I can't help but feel like the Muslim has had at least one arm cut off uh, by his opponent. And it's just going to continue to get worse as more trebuchets begin coming out. That's the fourth trebuchet getting added in. And you can see that keep going to be surviving. Trebuchet is turning their attention towards the trebuchet of his opponent. Going to force it to unpack. And now we've got the Springholds coming up for a little bit of a kiss as well. Entering into a big battle here underneath the keep. You can see the keep staying alive. The uh, the, the Nestor B is doing what it does best and just firing off a single rocket before deciding to pick itself up. And now the Muslim looking to push out with another keep. Trebuchet is going to be forced back. You can see them escaping at least trying to. Two of the traps have gone down already. There's going to be two that remain. And now all of a sudden, a lot of Springles coming up for another kiss. And the Springles may kiss. Now kiss. And indeed, they do kiss. But unfortunately, it's a big kiss coming out for running. He's got a lot of Springles. He manages to take the hill. And this is absolutely terrible damage. Keep going to be going down. Knights are going to have a bit of a fight here with the Spearmen. But at the same time, Longbow is going to be able to, hear, to be here. And now on top of the, this hill, we see that the, the Springles indeed go in for a beautiful kiss. And at the same time behind this, look at the trebuchet. They're going to try and keep themselves alive. But unfortunately, they're not going to be able to outrun those spearmen as they continue to go down. Look at how far away can we get from that battle over there and still watch it. We're pretty far away at this point. You can see a lot of action on our screen right now. Action over here. Action down to the south. Action over towards this western part as well. And it's looking like running is just running all over his opponent at this point. And good game gets called. The Muslim taps out. He says, you know what? You had, you had me at the villager rush. You had me full stop. What an absolute game. Fellas, I hope you've enjoyed this game. Absolute roller coaster. Went everywhere. Didn't really leave this spot, though. Uh, make sure you check out EGC TV. Uh, they're going to be hosting up Golden League weekend number two. Catch it at 15 GMT.